Hey y'all, I'm pumped today. We are gonna roll out here. All right, we're rolling out on the outer banks of North Carolina. We're headed down to Buxton and the Avon area. I don't know, I haven't picked a spot yet, but we're gonna go out here and we're attempting to catch Big Red Drum today. All right, so thanks for clicking on this video. Let's roll. Okay, y'all, we're almost on the beach. See, that's what happens when you take a family. You want to play jokes. You want to joke on you. All right, but this is what we're going to do. All right, pardon the, oh, there you go. Good scenery in the back. Hey, I got a tire pressure gauge right here. I'm going to go down and I'm going to lower all my tires to about 20 PSI, all right, pounds per square inch. And that'll help you kind of float on the sand out here a little bit, especially when you got a big truck, uh, like mine is a full-size truck. Okay, but a lot of people get out here if they've never driven on this soft sand out of the outer banks and they get themselves in trouble right away and they want to gun it, they want to go in four low right away. And really, the main thing they need to do to make it all work is to lower the tire pressure in their tires. So, if you haven't done that, especially out here on the outer banks, um, there's a lot of soft sand out here. Lower the tire pressure, don't be scared to go 20 psi. And then, while you're out here fishing, you could just leave it like that while you're just cruising the, the town. And then when you actually leave and head back home, then you, you go ahead and fill your tires back up. All right, so that's what we're going to do right here. Get down here, lower the tire pressure, 20 PSI, and then we're going to go fish. guys hooked up here. Just came off. Pinch the line. Pinch the line so it comes on tight. All right, it's about 6:30 in the morning. We're out here on the point, in Buxton, North Carolina. That's all right, just fight them. Don't tighten up that drag. Don't tighten it up. I got it just right, I think. Just fight them. There you go, just nice and easy. Keep your rod tip up. Just keep working it. All right, here we go. There he is. There you go, your first big one. Here, get the, get it to the shock leader. Okay, this wave, this wave. All right, buddy, good job. Got him! Alright, here you go. I'm gonna give it 44, man. Good job. First big drum right here on Buxton on the point. Alright, get him back in the water. All right. 
Here, give the camera a high five. All right, good job, bud. Checking back in. He isn't pulling drag anymore. Oh, oh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. I tried, I just felt like Nick in the line. Hopefully not. Get it on the reel. You don't want no Nicks. Just fight him. All right, about 30 minutes later, we're hooked up again. This time, the star of Let's Roll Outdoors. All right, hey, check it out. I got the spin casting gear going on now. And we're just sitting here off the point of Buxton, North Carolina. And that thing just yanked down and started going. So hopefully we can land this thing and uh, show it to you on the camera here. I believe I was using a slice of mullet here, a piece of cut mullet on this one. All right, we'll check back in. All right. Tell us what happened. I don't know what happened. Maybe I didn't put enough pressure on or something, but it just popped and came off. Let's see what's up here. All right, here's what's going on here. I just reeled it up. Here's my shock leader. I got a 40 pound test shock leader. And this whole part right here feels frayed up real bad. So, I mean, it could have been a drum, could have been a shark. I don't know, but it's all frayed up and basically just cut on the shock leader. So we got to hurry up and go back and uh, tie on a new rig. All right, let's roll, let's do it. What you doing? I got one. It's, I've been fighting it for about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Oh, really? Just don't horse them. Let's see. Can you tell where your line's at? You got to pay attention where you're going. Pay attention where you're going. Yeah. That's all right. Let's just land something. All right, we've been fighting it for like 20 minutes now. Kind of moving down the beach off the point, moving north. Just hope we land this one, whatever it is. You can see the line is on the drop right there. It's taking me down the beach. I told him I want to see this one be red, not gray. Hooked up again. <laughs> Get it. 
appreciate in your workout today. Finally see him. It's a shark. It's a shark. See him. See if I can find him out there. All right, we got it right here in the wave. Good little shark here. Let's see if we can get a little help here. outdoors hopefully you enjoyed that fishing action coming from the outer banks of north carolina november 2020 all right and that's why we are wore out like this all right we are sleeping in camp chairs because we've been fishing for two days straight catching some of them big drum and those sharks and uh literally fishing straight no sleep no nothing sleeping in the truck hanging out with the family trying to catch fish all right so hopefully you uh you enjoyed this little bit of video and uh hopefully you can get out there with your families and uh, make some of your own outdoor adventures. But I just wanna say thanks for clicking and uh, we'll keep making videos, hopefully you keep watching. All right, let's roll.